Tonight in the swivel chair, it's Imogen Bailey. Please welcome Imogen Bailey, joined by Getaway's David Rain and Van Dyke. It's the one and only Imogen Bailey, and we welcome her to GMA this morning. Congratulations, Imogen. Hi, welcome to the latest edition of Now TV. I'm Imogen Bailey, and I'll be your host. Today, we'll be looking at some of your favourite chart topping hits and talking to some of the stars that appear on Now 4. We've got a lot of great music to get through, so let's get going. And how lucky you are. We're going to be bringing you news, views, and updates of Australia. We're going to be giving you weekly postcards, picture postcards of Australia. What more could you want? Great, I think probably. Probably the, the first thing that you absolutely have to perfect is the FHM pout. The pout. And the way that I teach you to do that, if, I'm get, if I could just get you to pat your lips, but there's a trick. You can tell them I'll go to the papers. I'll put that politician mate on the front page. You don't understand. They will come after you. Just missed a bit there. Ah, right. But apart from the fact that you're very successful, you're delightful to work with, and I think that's always a, a terrific rap to hear. Quite a feisty, but also a very intelligent girl. Sunday, what will happen when one of Australia's hottest swimsuit models hits the ice? <laughs> I've never skated. I do not know what I'm doing, and it really could get ugly. Imogen, would you take me shopping? Oh, she was so I wake up, look around. Well, the title says it all, boys. A collection of swim and or surfwear. It sounds basic enough, but every year innovative designers manage to transform and update the humble bikini into a must-have summer piece. And it was then that I realised hair is there for a reason. It's the leaf around the flower. I was married to an environmentalist, a lobbyist. Now this car has a very special feature which as a woman I'm very happy about. It has the sequential paddle shift. Really big car. Sarah! Thank you so much for joining us today. You're very welcome. You put a sparkle in the eyes of all our tired looking oh, crew. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me, Imogen, you've been in the Big Brother house, of course. You've been a Big Brother celebrity. Celebrity person. Big Brother. Thank you were in the UK. <laughs> you saw the show in the UK where Anushka got kicked out of the house. I did. I actually got really addicted to it over there. And just so you know, while I was in the UK, I was promoting my um, single that's just come out, just in case you didn't know, Tim. What's it called? It's called If You Want Me. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> Sexy. Shy. The thing with, with image, for me, the great thing about it is it's a real chance to be creative and to kind of let yourself go and express yourself. I do have a few different personalities. I think the great thing about magazines like FHM, Ralph and Inside Sport is they actually give the opportunity for girls to talk about themselves and to talk about their careers and to talk about the person behind the pictures. It's a great marketing tool. Please do get behind these charities because I know when it's very close to your heart that um, it's a really, really important thing. So, you know, please do it. That's why we're all here. I'm uh, not too convinced about these vegetables. I think this one's looking a bit droopy. I just might do the old swap for Rooney. Yep, uh, I think this one's a bit better. Absolutely a clean person. I thought it was going to be a disaster. I thought I'd just be spending all my time falling over. But um, I think the trainers are just so fantastic that they're kind of making it a lot easier going through everything with us and doing a great job. It's not too late. Sold it to a guy the party. You just forget it, just forget <laughs> chance for every lady out there to be a princess for the day. It's a kind of a, a love story with a twist, I guess. Looking for love in all the wrong places, including the internet. <laughs> I guess my motto really is you never say never. 